Hi, today I'm going to speak about the Maya story, which is a story that points the journey of the manifestation from the source going outward to the world and going from the most outward objects of the world through the mind, through the thoughts, back dissolving into the source, which is liberation. And this is where one experiences absolute happiness, supreme peace, unchanging peace, which is one's true nature. The Maya story. It begins from the source. The source is beginningless and endless. It is changeless. It is within everyone and everyone is within it. It is every place and there is no place it is not. It is everywhere simultaneously at all times. From the source, Maya came out. And Maya, she's beginningless, although she has an end. Now Maya has two faces. One face, she's looking at the source and all she knows is the source itself. The other face is looking out and the moment she looks out, she forgets the face looking in. Maya has the power of the source within her, so she can create anything she wants except the source itself. Maya is like a seed. In the seed, we can see that there is the potential of the whole forest. One seed, one tree. One tree, many seeds many seeds, many trees, the whole forest. So Maya is the same way, except if we take from the seed any of the five elements, space, air, fire, water, and earth, the seed with all its potential cannot manifest. Maya is the same way. If we take the source of away, Maya cannot exist. So Maya has two faces. One face is looking in and all she knows is the source itself which is supreme happiness. The other face is looking out and the moment she looks out she doesn't see anything. So she gets scared and she, she starts to create. Now she can create anything she wants except the source itself so she's looking for the supreme happiness in her own creation except she can never find true happiness in her own creation Maya is the first thought I which is the first thought to arise for every human being then from the I she starts to move out to my body my body then it's through the senses my parents my toys, my house, my friend, my religion, my country, my beliefs, my ideas, my, 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 my. She goes out so far away going out through the mice that now all we have to do is we have to turn Maya like a boat and take her through the mice, through the eye, dissolving into the source so this is the Maya story if we we'll open it a little bit we can see there is the supreme peace which is changeless which is everyone's true nature from this supreme peace which is changeless the first thought to arise is the I thought the I thought arises from the source and it veils completely the source and covers it. The moment it veils the source, then Maya is looking out. She forget the face looking in, and now she's starting to project. So my thought is a projection. So when the eye arises, it veils the source. And when it starts to look out and moving outward, it starts to project the world so now it's going out and projecting this thought this idea this belief this concept 
just moving out looking for the source yet Maya can never find the source in her own creation so now she has to go back through the projection through the veiling back merging into the source this is liberation I'll expand about it more thank you so much have a wonderful rest of the day